Hi, in this video I will show you how to put together this cute little golf cart card. It's a box card that flattens to fit into an envelope and it's an SVG file from Simply Crafty SVGs. So here's a version of the golf cart card we're going to make. So you can see it folds flat to fit into an envelope. Um, I don't have because it's the, the size of it, I don't have a panel in the back. I just have it double-sided. So if you wanted to add a, a note, you could always include a, an extra note. Or you could put a little white tag on the back of this um, and just say from, that kind of thing. It's a real small card. I wanted it shaped like a golf cart. And you could put, uh, it comes with two different like printable tags. So this is a UR Terrific. Um, and then I have have a ball. And you can change the color too, so I changed this one to blue. So, but it is print and cut. So I'm going to use the blue one on the blue, the one we're going to put together. And we have a bunch of little pieces. Um, but it's just kind of a fun little card I thought would be good if you wanted to use it for Father's Day or birthday. So any golfer really, that would be a good retirement um, card too. So I'm going to put that aside. So we have all these pieces. So we have these blue pieces and I'm going to explain the pieces really quick. So all these gray pieces, they're trim and then the, t the roof on both sides and then this piece which will be what we have the tag on. So I'm going to move that to the side here. So we have the main card is this. So we're going to have that in the front and back. Then I have this optional um, back piece. If for some reason you're printing um, something out and you want the same color on the back and you if you're using like digital paper or something like that you can uh, put this piece on. Or if you just don't want to put all the little trims on the back you can always put a white piece to write a little message down there. So that's always an option rather than having it double sided. So I'm not going to use this right now. I'm gonna, I'll show you. I'll put it on so you can see what, what all, all it is. So we have these two pieces. So before we begin putting it together, we're going to piece together some things. So that includes the, these. So I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to take the roof pieces. And I'm making sure it's textured side up. So this is the front. Either add glue to the actual piece. So we're going to do the roof, but we're not going to add um, these trim pieces. They have to be added after, okay, because they jet out the front and back. So those will have to be added after we put the card together. So this is like this. So this will be the, the back facing the front. I'm going to flip it over and I can add it to the back. So at this point, if let's say you were doing, you cut your, we did a digital paper and you have white on the back and you want the same color, you can go ahead and some people do that and put this on the back. And then you would just glue it on there, just match it up and then you'd have the texture side or the, the color side up or texture side, it just depends on you, on what you want to do. So you would just glue that on but I don't really care. It's blue. I'm using American Craft uh, cardstock. Um, it's just smooth on the back, so that works for me. So I'm just going to make sure I'm on the back part, and it would be facing the um, opposite way of the front. So this is the back of the card. The other things you can add. I didn't line that up very well. Are the tires. So the tire pieces, let's bring those out. So we have four. Two for the front, two on the back, unless you decide not to put them on the back. That middle was still there. So we're just going to go ahead and layer all these.
and then we can place them on the front and back. So you can see I placed them and I just lined them up to the area. So on, but for the front, you're probably going to want to fold these. Just fold these tabs really quick. So it's just those fold right there and then those tabs. And the reason I said that is to make sure you don't fold over the score by accident. So because we, we need to get it matched up exactly on this front to make sure it doesn't interfere with that fold. So I'm just making sure how I put all the tires. I kind of just kind of can feel the edge down there. And then we have both sides done. Let me move that. It's causing me some issues with. So now this is, that's the back. So, and I'm going to flip that over. If you're going to put a tag on, if you want another piece of like this, you can always duplicate it, but we're going to put a tag, so we're just going to put that there. So it's easier to glue this on. And I'll put the actual um, tag on after the fact. Because I'm going to pop it up with some foam tape. I'm just going to line that up on the top. So just make sure it's oriented the correct way before you start gluing things. So now you can see that's the, the front. So now we're going to go ahead, we'll put these aside. And we'll take all these little pieces out. So it's really not that bad. You could either piece these together um, separately, which you can, or you can put it directly on the insert here. So there's two little tabs to the left and right here. So this will help you place everything. So I'm going to just piece this together separately and then we'll put it on. So with the, you could use a metallic, which I did in the last one. So you just want to add glue to the part where right below where the clubs start. Then you want this big piece first. Just going to line it up. I always put it lightly and then like go around the edges. Start at the bottom because you don't want to you don't want to bend those. Then we have the, this big piece. So that'll go again, line it up to the bottom and to the left side in that shape. And just giving dimension for the handle. And then the last one is the top piece. This is a little piece. This piece and the little club are the smallest pieces in here. So this kind of curves. See how it curves? Curves like this. get it in place and then the last thing just for dimension is to have this overlapping the others and I forgot to uh, you can put it underneath I forgot to put it underneath so I'm gonna have to trim it off here always one little one little incident when I do these things so I'm looking for my scissors so in our, um, I should have put that underneath before. So avoid that issue. Maybe I'll just trim it so you, just in case you forget, you don't have to go through this. I'll just modify it a little bit to be the exact size you need. So you shouldn't have to do that part, but it creates a little dimension. I did put this together, I just put it together in the wrong order. We're just going to add glue to the bottom part, so don't add anything to the clubs. And we're going to go ahead and line it up. So to double check, I'm just going to flip it over.
And then we'll go ahead and do the seat and the steering wheel. So the steering wheel is pretty small. So we're just going to add this top piece to it. So we'll get that out of the way. See that? Making sure the texture sides up. So I'm just going to add a little glue, a couple dabs of glue, not hardly anything. I just put one dab and I'm kind of spreading it out. And I didn't have my little pick-me-up tool, so I'm going to get that to pick up this little tool. And it just has a little sticky on the end of it to allow me to easily pick it up and place it where I need. I'm just making sure it's lined up. So that just gives it a little dimension. And that's a little pick-me-up tool, which is, there's versions out there like this, but this is a silhouette version to pick up small things. And it, like I said, it just has a little sticky thing on the end. And I could use it again for this. I prefer, honestly, I prefer not to use it too much because sometimes the goo on the end comes off. For me, at least. There's a bunch of workarounds for everything, so there's, of course with that there's always a workaround. So I'm just placing this in the area. It's easier to add glue to the actual insert. And then last is the seat, so we'll go, go ahead and put these on. fairly easy because you can just line up these pieces here. So then we'll put this on. So they just go by the curved area to place them. And you could always put, um, even though I, I made it in black to match the tire, so I wanted a little bit of um, contrast between the colors, but you could always use, if you did like a white cart, you can always make that like off-white or something like that. So you can change that in your, your software. or really not change on your software. You could just cut it, change the color so you know to cut it out. Or just use a different piece of paper. That's what I do even with the only machine that kind of needs that Cricut automatically um, groups them based on color. So that's the only machine that you, software that I'm aware of that does that. So, so there's the insert. So that was the bulk of the work. So the only other two, things we're going to have to add after we put the card together are the two trim pieces on the front and back and the tag. So the way we're going to do this really doesn't matter which way actually. So this this is the inside. So if you face it this way, it's the inside. So we need to glue this. I'm going to glue this on the inside. So when we flip it over, we should be able to see both sides of that we just put on. And you can see this is the back because that's glued on the other side. And you can see the tires. So it's essentially the same whether you glue it on the right or left. It's the same step. It's just the opposite. So we're going to go ahead and line this up. And we're going to line that tab up to the bottom here on the inside. You want to make sure it's lined up with it. I made it straight on the bottom to make it easier to line up. And you don't want to go over that fold, just up to it. If you're a little bit away to the right of it, that would work too. So I'm going to flip it over. And these are very thin, okay, because it's a small card. So just be aware that um, it's, it's, I mean, you could rip it easily. So just be really gentle with it. I could have made it thick, but I just don't want to take away from the look. So there's ways to trick a box card to make it thicker, but to me, I like the look of this. It looks more like a golf cart. So I stayed away from that. 
So once we have that boot on, I'm just folding it over, this is going to go on the inside. So it's going to go like this. So I'm only doing this so you can see how it's going to go. So we know this has to be upside down because that's the front right there. We want to fold these two tabs back. Make sure it's upside down if you're doing it exactly the way I'm doing it. We're going to go ahead and glue this little end of this tab right here just to the right of the fold. Okay. So that gives it spacing to be in the middle, or close to the middle, I should say. It's not exact. So I made this flat. That's what I meant to tell you earlier. I made this flat. The, the bottom of these tabs are flat so you can line up to the bottom like that. So you, when you glue it on, you can go across and they should it should go all the way across this match with this right here, right there. So that should match with that coming down, which it does. So now we're just going to fold this over like this. If it goes off a little bit, just uh, rearrange it. It'll come into place once we get it all glued. So that's going to fall naturally into place where we want it to. So we just need to fold this back, add glue to this tab, making sure you can see it okay. So you see that tab like that. I'm just going to flatten it, making sure that this bottom edge is lined up on the bottom. And you can see it just lines up there. You want to pull it too tight because you don't want it to pull on that tab right there. So now the inserts are in, so let me just flip it over real quick so you can see. I just have to glue the, the back part of this one last tab. So you're just going to gently lift this end, fold that in, and we're going to line this up. And make sure the best way is just to line this up to that bottom edge to make sure you're in place. So I'm just lining that up so this bottom part is lined up on the along that bottom edge right here. It'll just fall into place. So you will notice this is not the strongest card you've ever made. It's really about the look, like I said. And I made it quite small so I could appease the A2 folk, the people like A2 cards. So let's go ahead, since this work ours go from in to out. So I have these little pop-up dots. I usually use, I recommend scotch, but I have all these American craft, I forget what they're called, sticky dots. So I use them on my little items when I have them. I don't think they're quite sticky enough in my opinion. So I always add a little pop of glue. I'm just probably good. I should have done it on the other side too, but I always just do that just to give it a little extra ump. So I'm going to put it upside down so I can reach in and I can see from the top. And I'm centering it because it's there it's a little bit smaller than that. So there it is. I'll give it a second since I put wet glue on the pop dot. So again, I one my recommendation is usually I like scotch. I've tried a, a lot of them already and so far I like scotch foam tape best. I just like that because it gives it dimension. So now we're going to take these, so this is the, the skinny part's the front and the fat part's the back. So the way this fits, what you're going to want to do is line it up right here, right in this, this section right here. That's going to be the easiest way for you to line it up. 
and then things will line up over here when you do that. So I'm just going to put light glue on the back of it. I'm going to focus on this little curve right there. You can flatten it. I'm going to pick it up a little bit so I can get it, so I can make sure I put it in the right place. So you can see I'm just kind of put, putting my finger in that little area and then it should line up on the back with that. So I put a little bit too much glue on there. So be careful because that does jet out a little bit. Just a little bit. Probably could have done that part a little, little better, but whoops, don't get to get so much towards the back. And then kind of stay in the middle so it gives me a little wiggle room. And once you drop it, you get glue everywhere. So I'm flipping it around. I'm gonna get it again. I'm gonna go from the bottom and get it in that little curve. And then everything will fall into place. It should. You may have to scooch that just a little bit. So that's essentially it. I'm just going to add a couple little, I think these would be fun, they're little enamel dots. Just to spice it up just a little bit further. These particular ones are doodle designs. I just like them because I get full pages of the same color in different sizes. But the really teeny ones sometimes I don't really use. So. I tried making my own, but I'm just not as accurate as these when they're pre-made. That's it. So you could, um, you know, like I said, put a white panel in the back if you don't want to put all those. Um, yes, I realize there's not enough, a lot of places to put a sentiment, but it's just the design of the card. I just thought it was fun. So there it is and it folds flat to fit in the A2 envelope. Um, and if you did uh, like this project, please give me a little like below and or subscribe to our channel. And if you hit the little bell to the right, um, you'll be notified when we have new videos. I uh, thank you for watching.